Let us now take a look at one example that requires the use of the complete square method to solve the question. Okay, for example 4, we have an a quadratic equation. Okay, we're supposed to change this quadratic equation into another form, this form. Okay, what you must come to realize is this form is in the complete the square form because as you can see there is a perfect square here right so um, basically your job is very simple it's just to change this all right into this form they're using the complete the square method okay so let us go through the steps of completing the square one more time all right so the first step will be to make the coefficient of x square one positive one so as you can see here the coefficient of x square is now negative one right and what we have to do as our first step will be to take out the negative one so that we have a positive x square okay but because you take out a negative one here every sign inside the bracket will be changed okay but doesn't matter all right because as long as you have a big bracket outside and you know that you know you haven't done anything wrong okay this equation is still the same as this equation they are the same you have you haven't changed anything okay you basically you merely put in a bracket so this will be the first step of completing the square always remember to make the coefficient of x square positive one now the second step of completing the square would be well remember that extra little thing that we have add in a minus okay so let's copy x square minus 4x alright now we will now take a look at the coefficient of x so in this case is 4 so we will take 4 divided by 2 square it so we add this extra term but we know that we can't change the equation so we can't just add something at our whims and fancy so we have to add and minus the same thing okay so that we end up with the same equation we still haven't changed anything now but what we have done all right will lead us to step three of our completing the square process would be we will now be able to compress these three terms into a perfect square well, when this is a minus, when this is a negative, this will be a negative. So, 4 divided by 2 will be a 2. Okay, so square. Alright? So, by adding this extra little 4 over 2 square, we have changed these three terms into a perfect square. So, whatever that's left behind now, we just simply have to work it out. So, 4 divided by 2, there will be a 2. 2 squared, there will be a 4. So, there will be a minus 4 here, plus 5. Okay? And don't forget the big bracket. Alright, so now what is left to do is just to um, simplify. Right? So, let's be careful with this because um, many people tend to be very careless okay, when it comes to simplifying. Okay? So, we have to multiply in the negative. So we end up with a negative. All right, x minus two square and minus one. So here we go. We've got it, isn't it? So minus one, negative one will be our a. I mean, we can rearrange so that we can look exactly like the same form that they gave us. Okay, so this this way, yeah, it'll be a lot easier to see the link. So negative one is a, and our b is negative two. Okay, so we have completed the square. Alright, so there you go. Now, but remember what we learned about the uses of completing the square. I mean, what good does it do, right? So now this is where what we can apply our completing the square method to solve questions like this. Hence, state the coordinates of the maximum point. Now, the first thing you have to take note of is, of course, this quadratic equation here is a maximum curve. It's a maximum quadratic equation because it has negative x squared, right? It is negative x squared and therefore it is a maximum curve. And therefore, it has a maximum point. But how are we going to find out what is the maximum point?
uh, the coordinate of the maximum point. Well, since we have completed the square, the answer is actually here. It's already here. Now, the constant term, all right, we mentioned this earlier on. So, the constant term here will be the y value. Okay, that means to say this will be the maximum y value that it can ever be. Alright, it will never be greater than negative 1. Alright, and when does this happen? This happens when this is equal to 0. When x minus 2 bracket square is equal to 0. And that will happen when x is equal to 2. So, you know that when x is equal to 2, y is equal to negative 1 and you know that this will be the maximum value because no matter what x you put in here all right this will be a positive number and therefore minus 1 minus a number any number you can think of so minus 1 minus 10 for example is going to be lower than minus 1 so minus 1 minus 1 is going to be minus 2 which is going to be lower than minus 1 again. So the only way you can get the maximum value for your y, okay, remember that this is all y, yeah? It, the left hand side is y, right hand side, they are equal. So this is y equals, y equals, y equals, everything is y. Alright? So, to have a maximum value of y, this perfect square here has to be 0. And when will it be 0? It will become 0 when x is equal to positive 2. So when x is equal to positive 2, y will be equal to negative 1, and that will be the maximum possible value for your y. And hence, this will be the coordinates of your maximum point. Alright, so let's take a look at the next part of the question. Sketch the curve. Hold a minute, we are now supposed to sketch this quadratic curve. Okay, obviously we need more space. So let us scroll it down a little bit. Alright. Okay, there we go. Alright, let us copy the equation one more time. y is equal to negative x squared plus 4x minus 5. Okay, now we have completed the square such that it becomes this form. Okay, so they are the same. When you expand out, you get the same thing. So, nothing wrong, right? So, we also figure out, right, because we have completed the square, we figure out that our maximum point is at 2, negative 1. So, now let us try to sketch the curve by first sketching the axis. Okay, remember that in AMF, Whenever we are asked to sketch, we don't have to use graph paper. Okay, any plain paper, full sketch paper, it works, right? It's a sketch. So it's just a rough sketch. So of course, we need to have our axis first. Now what do we know? First thing, we know that this is a maximum curve and therefore a maximum curve looks like this. Okay, which has a maximum point, right? So we do know that the maximum point is at positive 2, negative 1. And that means to say when x is 2, y would be negative 1. So we know that there's a point here. And this point is the maximum point of our frowny face, our N-shaped curve. Right? So, we also know that when x is equal to 0, okay, look here, look here. So when x is equal to 0, we'll get y equals to negative 5. What this means, what this tells us is that it will intersect the y-axis at negative 5. So how do we sketch this curve then? Well, we know that it's an N-shaped curve, and therefore it will look a little like this. And this intersection here will be at negative 5. Okay, so this will be the sketch of our quadratic equation.